back at it again with another This Week in WWE with the G-Star. That's right. So, this is episode number 36, guys. That is right. So, if you have not watched what happened this week in WWE, make sure you check it out on WWE Network right now, guys. But let's get right into what actually happened this week in WWE. This is actually a little bit more closer to being on time, but I am going to try and keep it to Fridays. Of course, it's not Friday now, but I've tried my best being sick. But, let's get right into it guys, we started with Raw. So on Raw we had Rusev versus Roman Reigns for the US Championship. So it's Rusev's type of rematch that he gets from when he lost the title. So what happened was, Rusev and Roman, they went to war and it ended up in being a double count out because they went and started fighting in the crowd. So, of course it ended in a double count out and yeah. I think at probably the next pay per view for Raw, which will be Hell in a Cell, which we found out on Raw that it is Hell in a Cell as the next one, they will most likely be battling it out, and Rusev will most likely lose, so then he can go on his honeymoon with Lana. We found out that both Cesaro and Sheamus really wanted to get their championship shot because neither one won. It was like kind of like a, a draw, I guess, on the, on the final match that they had at Clash of Champions. So Mick Foley said, look, you'll both get your title shot, but you'll both get it at the same time. So, in that being said, you will both be formed as a team and you will be versing the winner of the title match that's happening after, which was New Day versing the club, well, Anderson and Gallows. And yeah, they would be versing them later on down the track. So, Sheamus and Cesaro are a team, and they're not really too happy about that. They did have a match later on that night in which they won but they didn't really get along throughout the whole match. But they could be a really dominant team if they really wanted to be. So then we went on to the actual Tag Team Championship match, which was the New Day versus Anderson and Gallows. And this match was pretty cool. It ended up coming down to a point where Kofi got split open on the steps and he was pissing out blood. He was gory as a motherfucker. But they ended up somehow getting the win over Anderson, and I'm not really too happy with that. Like, I do like the New Day, but I really wanted Anderson and Gallows to win the WWE World Tag Team Championships. Would have been better to actually have those guys win the titles after Clash of Champions on Raw. However, it didn't happen, so maybe Cesaro and Sheamus will take them, and then they will lose the titles to Anderson and Gallows. Maybe. Who knows? We had was Bailey versus Anna Fields, and I guess it was some random jobber, but she got beaten, of course. Bailey, of course, of course, Bailey got the win. Like, why wouldn't she? And yeah. Then we had the cruiserweight division. It was a tag team match. It was Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan versus Drew Gulak and Lindsay Dorado. So of course, in this match, you'd have to think that. Cedric and Rich got the win, and of course they did, but however, this was an awesome match, and yeah, it was actually pretty cool. TJ Perkins had his Raw debut where he versed Tony Nese, and ended up getting the win over Tony Nese, and Kendrick kind of rubbed it in after, and I think they will be having a rematch for the championship next week on Raw. We had a highlight reel with the special guest being Kevin Owens. They made fun of Seth Rollins. Seth did come out, but he got escorted back. And then Enzo and Cass came out and kind of smack talked their way into a match where they were going pretty well. However, Jericho and Owens got the win over Enzo and Cass, and Owens was standing victorious at the end of the show. We had was SmackDown, and on SmackDown we started with the American Alpha and Heath Slater and Rhino versing the Usos and the Ascension in tag team match. And of course, this match was pretty good. Usos came out with new music which was awesome because now they finally got rid of that shitty old music that I was really not liking. And it kind of goes with their new attitude. And what ended up happening was everyone was taking each other out and towards the end, Heath was the only one left on his team and versus the Usos and they took out his knee and made him tap. So at No Mercy, it will be of course an Usos versus Heath and Rhino. So it's interesting to see if Heath and Rhino can retain at a pay-per-view. Hopefully they can. We had Naomi and Nikki Bella versus Carmella and Natalia, and Carmella got the win over Nikki again with a sneaky roll up, which was awesome because it's just showing that Carmella is actually becoming a lot better than Nikki. Found out that Dolph Ziggler would finally want one more match, and the fact is, is that he put his career on the line. So we will be having at No Mercy, it will be the Miss defending the Intercontinental Championship against 
Dolph Ziggler, and if Dolph Ziggler loses, his career's done. But if he wins, then he wins the title. So it's a career versus title match at No Mercy. So that's what I'm looking forward to, because that is going to be intense. Then Alexa Bliss attacked Becky as Becky was making her way down to the ring and laid Becky out and pretty much sent a message to Becky. It ended SmackDown with AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose and AJ put his title on the line because it was Dean's rematch. It was going pretty well. AJ hit a phenomenal forearm on Cena who was at ringside and then Cena tried to get in the ring but the ref stopped him. AJ would have been pinned by Dean with a roll up. However, AJ ended up getting out when the ref... Uh, when, when the ref finally turned around. And then Dean went out there pissed off and punched Cena in the face because he blamed Cena for that. And then he got back in the ring and then he got rolled up by AJ and lost the match. And then after the match, Cena and Dean kind of went face to face pushing each other and Cena ended up hitting Dean with a AA and then AJ got in there and tried to beat Cena up. Cena hit him with an AA and stood there trying to be all like, Oh, I'm the man, I'm the champ, you know, maybe 16 times, eventually. No, Cena, just go, just go and retire. We don't want you anymore. At NXT, and we heard that the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will be coming back for the second instalment for this year. Because last year we had one around this time, and now we're having another one. And it starts next week on NXT, so it's going to be very interesting. And then... After Ty Dillinger had his match against Angelo Dawkins and won, we ended up having Bobby Roode come out and offer him, you know, why don't we be tag team partners? And the crowd was ch and the crowd was chanting Glorious Ten, but Roode hinted at Perfectly Glorious as the tag team, and they shook hands, and they're both from Canada, so it's going to be interesting, because the next pay per view is NXT Takeover Ontario Canada. So that will be interesting. And Mandy Rose versus Amber Moon, and of course you knew Amber would beat Mandy without a doubt, and she did. She laid Mandy out and hit her with that mad stunner move, and Mandy kind of thought she had the other hand in the match, but she didn't. She didn't, just admit it. Amber had her, and she ended up getting the win. And then after that we had Asuka defending the NXT Women's Championship against Liv Morgan. And I was really hoping that Liv would win this, but I kind of thought that she might not win it just yet, and she came short of it, and Asuka got the win, made a tap, so she retains the title again, and they asked her after the match, who's next, and she goes, no one's ready. And then in the main event, we had Hideo Itami versus Lindsay Dorado, one of the Cruiserweight like Classic guys, and it was a pretty good match, but Hideo hit the go to sleep and got the win. After the match, he got attacked by Austin Aries, and then Austin Aries played mind games, ran off when her day started to come back. So guys, that's what happened this week in WWE. If you did like this episode, make sure you hit that like button hard, guys. But not too fucking hard. Don't break your computers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to join the Dark Squad. And spread the word of the J-Stock to everybody you know. If you want to follow me on Instagram Twitter, the link's in the description down below. And guys, we're actually getting really close to 40 episodes, which is insane. So that's actually awesome. Um, I've got an update video on what's coming to the channel this... I've got an update video of what's coming to the channel very soon. It's coming up very soon and it's going to be explaining what's coming this month. Game-wise, unboxing-wise and all that goodness. And what's going to be stopping and not continuing or like being finished game-wise and stuff like that on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that guys. It's going to be sometime this week. I'd say probably in the next couple of days it should be up hopefully. Also. To all the new subscribers, thanks for hitting the subscribe button and joining the Dark Squad. Let's keep this momentum of this channel growing, guys. And as always, guys, stay awesome. The G-Star is out of here. See ya.